Good morning, kiddos. Pops. Uh, today's 320, 2020, 2022. The verse today is Proverbs 27. And it says, The righteous who walks in his integrity, blessed are his children after him. I like to that one. The righteous who walks in his integrity, blessed are his children after him. So as long as I walk in my integrity, my children will be blessed too, right? That's how, that's why I interpret it anyways, kiddos. So and now we're going to read just for today. Um, check it out. So I love you, kiddos. I miss you. Uh, hold on. All right. Pops that switch. March 20th. It says, Higher Power. It says, Most of us have no trouble admitting that addiction has become a destructive force in our lives. Our best efforts resulted in ever greater destruction and despair. At some point, we realized that we needed the help of some power greater than our addiction. Basic text, page 24. Most of us know without a doubt that our lives have been filled with destruction. Learning what we have, learning that we have a disease called addiction helps us understand the source of or cause of this destruction. We can recognize addiction as a power that has worked devastation in our lives. When we take the first step, we admit that the destructive force of addiction is bigger than we are. We are powerless over it. At this point, our only hope is to find some power greater than the force of our addiction, a power bent on preserving life, not ending it. We don't have to understand it or even name it. it only, we only have to believe that a power could be, that there could be a, such a higher power. The belief that a benevolent power greater than our addiction just might exist give us enough hope to stay clean a day at a time. Just for today, I believe in the possibility of some power that's bigger than my addiction. Boy, please. <laughs> you know I do. I believe in God, Jesus Christ. Um, that's my that's my higher power. And uh, in the rooms, man, because um, that's part of, you know, that's what Jesus put in my life was those rooms and puts all the people in those rooms. Well, whoever their higher power is, I can't speak for them, but I know my higher power is Jesus and he, he guided me to them rooms. And so I keep coming back. Even when I slip and I bump my head and stuff, I pick myself right back up, you know, because, you know, I used to have a problem with, um, you know, smoking and uh, I'm getting better, you know. Um, yeah, man. So um, I don't I didn't smoke yesterday and smoke today. I'm clean and sober, so I can't complain. I have no complaints. Just just hope that I don't smoke tomorrow or the next day, you know, and, uh, you know, so, we'll, we'll, you know. We'll, we'll just take it one day at a time, man. Just keep it simple, kiddos, you know? And um, I just want you to know that I love you. I miss you. I'm thinking about you, man. And, um, yeah, uh, last night was my first night. I stayed in my apartment by myself. Um, well, I stayed here, period. You know, not just by myself, but just period. And uh, it's all right. You know, my bed's not very uncom very comfortable, but I'm not, I don't have no complaints. You know, I'm very grateful. But I think it's not that it's not uncomfortable, I think it just needs to be bigger. I, I'm in a twin. <laughs> My big tail needs something bigger than a twin, kiddos. <laughs> but you know, pops a bargain shopper, so man, I just got just got just got me something to keep my head off the floor, you know. You don't want the bed bugs getting me, you know. There was bed bugs here, but it's all remodeled and stuff, so there's no bed bugs here no more. I found a dead one, but I clean and bleach the floors and everything and stuff. So it's pretty nice, you know. There's no I take care of my stuff, you know. There's nothing really on the floor and stuff. You know, the bag I got over here underneath this thing is on a box. Just in case the one tries to creep in or something, you know. But, so, yeah, man. You know, so I got my own little balcony, too. Look, this is my balcony right here, kiddos. See? Got a balcony out here. Got my own balcony. It's upstairs, you know. I'll go out there. Yeah, I got my door over there. I go out to the hallway, go down the stairs. Uh, then Pops keeps his clothes over here. I'll show you where I keep my clothes at. Pops got his little spot over here where he keeps his clothes. Hangs his clothes up. Oh, this is my sweatshirt and stuff. I keep my other clothes over there. And that cabinet over there. But yeah. So yeah, kiddos. This is Pops. I'm watching Discovery Channel. You know, Pops always likes to learn. National Geographic Discovery Channel. You know, and things like that. But... Yeah, kiddos, man. So, uh, I hope you have a good day today. Uh, <laughs> this is my leftover Chinese from last night. Pops, pops is feeling like fat boy, so I went and got me some beef, uh, beef and broccoli. I told you guys that last night, but anyways, uh, just got him writing in my journal. Oh, I can tell you my gratitude list for today. Okay, gratitude list. Then my gratitude list for today. I got God, 
number one, my family, number two, my freedom, number three, my sobriety, number four, my sponsor, number five, DoorDash, <laughs> my car, uh, my driver's license, my own place, my apartment, and shoes, you know. Without shoes, I'd be stomping around here barefoot, you know, beating feet bare feet. <laughs> Pops on one time, huh? But, uh, yeah, I love you, kiddos. I miss you, man. And I'm thinking about you, man. And uh, I'm finna drink me some coffee. And uh, I'm gonna go door that. Get us some money, you know? I love you, kiddos. I miss you. And I'm thinking about you. And God bless you. What's up, kiddos? It's Pops. Just wanna tell you, I love you. I miss you. And I'm thinking about you. Um, just got down, listened to the end of the church uh, sermon. And, uh, at church, uh, I was just at the recovery meeting. I left, man. That's the second time I've left today at the meeting, man. My anxiety is, is uh, getting really bad. I was in there waiting, and I was getting really tired of, of being hot and all the noise and people. Uh, I just kind of freaked out in my head and just walked out. But on the way out, I bought a CD and I bought a book from uh, some guy that was giving a sermon, Dr. Dr. Um, Jason Himmelberger, something like that. Himmelberger, sorry. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy, kind of cool, man, because it's called Proverbs, 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 31-day devotional. Yeah, which I thought was cool because that's what we do already, kiddos. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we learned that from U-Turn for Christ, you know? So, but, you know, he has some content in there, you know, people support me, so I wanted to support him. I thought that was pretty cool, so I'm going to go back. I don't know about listening to the CD, because I don't know how. I don't have a CD player anymore. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah. I just want to tell you, I love you kiddos, man. I'm just going to go back. Uh, yeah, man. And, uh, watch some TV and just relax. Just chill. Kind of get out of my head. Uh, I love you. And uh, I miss you, kiddos. I'm thinking about you. God bless.